in this lecture, why don't we talk a little bit about um, lighting systems and how lighting systems work and how um, they're used to control all kinds of stage lights. So in our simplest lighting system, right, so what we have is our, our light board here. And our light board is, um, sends signals. When we tell it what to do, it's sending only a low voltage or a digital signal, right? And that signal then goes to our um, dimmers, right? And the dimmers then receive the signal, but are connected to power, right? Connected to a lot of power. And then the signal regulates how much power is sent out of each individual dimmer and it runs along a cable or a circuit that then plugs into our light that makes our light dim up and down. Right, so we have two different kinds of cable here. We have signal cable and then we have power cable. And you'll remember from our cable lectures, power cable is big, signal cable is small, right, and the two can't be mixed or matched. Right, so that's that's our simplest system. That's our light board controller with a single dimmer that outputs to a single light and it makes our light turn on and off. As we move up in complexity a little bit, if we were in the theater, we would think of the light board that's going to be out front, it's going to be uh, in the booth, maybe near the stage manager. It's going to be somewhere where the operator can see it. <clears throat> Now, our dimmers, the dimmers are often located backstage because they require a lot of power, right? And so they're going to want to be backstage. It's going to be nearer to power. It's somewhere where their fans aren't going to make noise. They're often located either in a closet or in a basement or a room or somewhere that's a little bit away from the stage but is near to backstage. The lighting circuits then run from that closet or basement all the way back up to maybe the catwalk that's front of house to the first electric that's over the stage and to the second electric that's over stage and each individual dimmer runs out through a piece of wire and surfaces once somewhere in the theater in this instance it's showing that circuits one through eight are, uh, appear in our catwalk. So dimmer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 all appear on our catwalk. Picking up with number 9, dimmer number 9, that is routed, that electricity is routed out to circuits 9 through 16 on our first electric and our lights just plug in to whichever one is most convenient for our lights to plug in. And then 17 through 24 go to our second electric. So again, a signal cable that goes from all the way out front into our closet or basement. And then electrical cables that run up <clears throat> to our catwalk, our first and our second electric. So when we look at some of the wire that's doing that, right, the, the data that runs from the light board to the dimmers can just run through this uh, cable that looks like microphone cable, DMX. We've probably already spoken about it. The power that feeds the dimmers may come from these giant cam lock connectors because this may need 400 amps or 600 amps because it has all of these individual dimmers in there. And so it needs a lot of power for each one of these dimmers. And these circuits that run out to the lights are often going to be stage pin connectors that are connected to our 12-3 uh, cable, our stage lighting cable. So 20 amps for each one of these and you add them all together, <clears throat> you can wind up quickly with hundreds of amps of power that is needed at the, um, at the dimmer pack, at the dimmer rack. So that's an outline of a, a simple theatrical lighting system right our light board our dimmers our circuits that go to um, <clears throat> the stage or to front of house and then our lights that plug into those circuits and we'll um, talk more about data here in our next video <clears throat>